In this video, we're going to take a look at how to make a blueprint for desktop server. A blueprint is simply a specific configuration of WordPress. Out of the box, it came with WordPress 4.0. In our last video, we updated this to 4.1 and updated some themes and plugins. Let's go ahead and make some changes to the settings. Call it Topher's Super Site. And now I will show you how to save this specific configuration as a blueprint. We're going to use a plugin called Duplicator. It's a free plugin. And you can see it right here. We'll do an install. Then we'll activate this plugin. And now there's a duplicator menu. Let's go to Packages and Create New. Let's call this DS underscore WP underscore 41. And our notes will be WordPress 4.1 updated. And we can leave the rest at the defaults. We don't need to mess with the archives and we don't need to put any information in for the installer. We simply hit Next, hit Scanned Everything, and we hit Build, and there we are. Now we want to download this archive. Now at this point, all we really have is a complete copy of the site. It's all zipped up. You could take this and put it on a server somewhere and unzip it, and away it would go. But we're going to save this file, and on a Mac, it goes into Applications, XAMPP, Blueprints. And you can see here we have the original 4.0 and the blank one. In Windows, you would put it in the Applications folder for XAMPP Blueprints. So now let's hit Save. And there we are. Now we can try using it to create a new site using that blueprint. So we'll start up desktop server. I'm going to restart with privileges. There. Now before we can access our new blueprint, we have to actually completely stop desktop server and then restart it. So I'm going to go here and quit. And then we'll start it again. with privileges. And then we'll create a new development website. And here we have DSWP41 and a nice long hash that Duplicator made. But that's our blueprint. So I'm just going to call this WP41. So I'm going to have www.wp41.dev. And there we are. Now, rather than click it, I'm just going to go over here to Firefox and type in www.wp41.dev. And there we are. We don't even have to install. Topher Super Site is just there. You may recall when we did our first site, we had to go through the WordPress installer and give it a site name and all of that. This blueprint is a complete template of everything. Thinking through all of the things that you could do for this, you could create blueprints for multiple versions of WordPress and have them all running concurrently so that you can test your plugin in all of them. You could do the same thing to test a theme if you're building a theme. If you build websites for clients and you always start with the same base configuration themes, you could get those all set up and just ready to go. Blueprints can be really, really powerful once you get them set up properly, and they can dramatically speed up the development cycle of a plugin, a theme, or a client site. In Desktop Server Premium, it has built in the ability to create these archives, so you don't need the duplicator plugin. And once we get that installed, we'll take a look at that as well. 